This question appeared in NEET PG 2023 and the question says that a 45 year old male presented to OPD with chief complaints of abdominal pain associated with diarrhea and the history is only of three days. He also re reports fatigue, anorexia and weight loss. On examination, BP is 130 by 70 which is normal and the pulse rate is around 70 beats per minute which is again normal and he has jaundice. So you order an ultrasonography and the USG abdomen shows intra and extra hepatic dilatations with strictures and there is also intraductal pigmented stone. So what is the causative organism in this particular case and your options are entrobias, strongolites, sterocolis, enchylostoma duodenalis and clonorchis sinus. Let's answer this question by analyzing the options. So the first option you have been given is entrobias or penworm. So yes, it is a GI infection. Okay, but there are two very, very characteristic, uh, you know, findings which will help us to differentiate between this clinical case and entrobias infection. The first is it is primarily seen in children. Okay, and the second is there will be a very, very characteristic finding in the, you know, clinical history that is itching around anus and both of these is absent in this particular clinical case so it cannot be entrobias or pinworm let's look at the next option so strongolite stericolis again it's a small intestine infection and it will have similar symptoms like you know abdominal pain diarrhea however liver you know uh, or gallbladder infection is not seen in strongolite stericolis Similarly, enclyostoma, duodenally, again, an intestinal GI infection, again with similar symptoms, but here again, liver and biliary apparatus involvement is not seen. What characteristically they will talk about in enclyostoma duodenally is anemia. So, patient will have anemia in these cases. So, that can be a pointer towards this particular diagnosis. Let's look at the last option that is clonorchis sinensis. Now, this is also called as Chinese liver fluke okay and yes uh, this can go and get uh, you know uh, uh, affect and cause inflammation and stricture formation and dilatation of the biliary apparatus. So this uh, option actually fits with our uh, diagnosis. So let's look at some of the most important uh, points about clonorchis sinensis so that you can uh, know, uh, know an answer if they are asked in the question. So let's first talk about its life cycle. So no, it, we all know that it has a very complex life cycle, but most important you have to remember that snails and fishes act as the intermediate host. So undercooked fish, freshwater fish uh, is primarily a source of infection. Let's talk about the disease. So it is uh, uh, once ingested, the larva will migrate to the bile duct. Larva will migrate to the bile duct and it is there. So when we talk about the pathogenesis, so once infected, the lava will migrate to the bile duct and there is where it will cause the inflammation and infection. Okay. What are the complications? And again, this is a very, very important point. So complication, one is uh, obviously, uh, you know, biliary uh, bile duct uh, stricture formation, dilatation that can be seen. Another very, very important complication will be they can cause lots of liver damage. Okay and which will in, which will lead to a lot of liver fibrosis and these patients will have increased incidences of cholangiocarcinoma cholangiocarcinoma much higher incidences of cholangiocarcinoma because of the damage uh, in the liver caused by them and damage will lead to fibrosis and uh, you know that will lead to increased incidence of cholangiocarcinoma. How do you uh, diagnose it? Uh, you know you can take stool samples and look for the eggs. Serological diagnosis can also be done and uh, you know you can use anti-parasitic uh, medicines like praziquantel for the treatment of this particular disease and prevention is primarily by not consuming undercooked fish and uh, intermediate host. So this is all about this question. So this clinical question, the correct answer is clonorchis sinensis, also called as Chinese flu form, which and there are two important uh, points which frequently get asked and this topic is uh, the, about the intermediate host. So intermediate host, remember, 
snail and fishes are the intermediate host about the life cycle and then remember they will uh, the complication will be very uh, bile duct stricture formation and dilatation liver damage liver fibrosis and an increased incidence of cholangio carcinoma so these are important points which they will ask you about clonorchis sinensis